now to help you improve your shortwave reception. Today, Carl brings us another article in his series, Radio Propagation for Beginners. This is part of time where we continue our trip through the radio spectrum. And we've reached the short wave bands. Above the medium wave band, we'll find short waves stretching from 1600 kilohertz to 30 megahertz. Stations on the low end of the short wave bands will behave much like those on the high end of the medium wave band. But as we turn even higher within the short wave band, some changes in signal behavior begin to take place. During the day, the B layer becomes less absorbent as we tune higher. Till at around 7 megahertz, signals begin to pass through the B layer. Still, some absorption prevents these signals from being as strong as they would be at night. This point on your radio dial is called the lowest usable frequency, or LUF. As you turn higher, the effect of the B layer becomes less and less, until at around 14 megahertz, long distance skip signals from anywhere. The B layer is retracting these signals from far away. Turning even higher, a point is finally reached where the E layer will no longer send signals back downward, but instead it lets signals pass on through the router space. That point is called a maximum usable frequency, or MUF. This range of frequencies between the LUF and MUF is called a window, and the window is constantly shifting. At night, when a B layer disappears and the E layer weakens, the LUF drops below the medium wave band. MUF may drop down to around 12 to 15 megahertz. The signal that's to above the MUF or signal is closed down, offering very few signals. To continue our trip upward in a radio station, we reach the very high frequency bands at 30 megahertz. During unusual conditions, the MUF will sometimes reach this high, creating some interesting DX. But most stations up here rely on ground wave for coverage. Two way communication, FM, and TV broadcasting use the high frequencies. Going even higher, the signals begin to behave more like light, limited nearly to the line of sight, with the ionosphere having no effect on the sky 